Oops. Wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yes, I was just reading your comments, Stomper Guy. I originally was going to be doing seasons tonight, um, but I've never really started with ages before, so I thought this would be a great thing to be uh, put forward. And yes, Natsuki is here with us tonight. They wanted to be a part of the stream. So... <laughs> I can still call you Stomper. That's good. This is indeed an oldie but a goodie. Yes, it is. Octoling. I am very excited to be playing this again. And I uh, I don't know if you saw the Nintendo Direct in the last week or so, but they are actually coming out with this game really soon. So I was just like, you know what? To get everybody hyped up for this game, let's go ahead and jump right into it before they release it. So... <laughs> I oh, rented this game? Nice. And CrossFit Bookstores had rental games. Ooh. That. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know a CrossFit Bookstore did rental game. The more you know. <laughs> uh. Let me go ahead. Let's see if we can get you in in a moment. what you were doing when you were trying to start with this for seasons. <laughs> a surprise Trixie stream. Now, I put it in the... I put it in my schedule for today. So, today is Sunday. And we have Sunday we're doing this. So... Yeah, you could rent the games from Blockbuster. Best thing was, if you bought it from Blockbuster, you could, uh... You could technically, uh, just play both for a certain amount of time. But they're not, they're not too hard games to play, you know? Uh, ah, I'm already being uh, raided Snoopy. and I haven't started. <laughs> Give me a second, everybody. Ah, uh, hello, Shrinky Squadron. Nice to see you there. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> it kind of jumped me in a minute too early. But it's great to see you all. Oh my goodness, so I'm so happy to see all of you. <laughs> that was way off, way too too late. That was the raid alert. Uh, forgot to copy the message. That is perfectly fine. But it's great to see all of you. Thank you so much for the raid. Ah. <laughs> oh, uh, we got. Wait, wait, did we get raided again? Uh, Dizzy Dennis is, uh, is, uh, ow! Someone I know. Someone you know? Yeah. Okay, because I got Jay Triumph, and I'm not seeing the other one pop up quite yet. So, Dizzy uh, Dennis is... Dizzy uh, Dennis is a friend of mine. Ah, okay. Let me see. I, I, I have the master up here telling me what I need to look at. <laughs> I don't know why that's popping up again, uh, but that uh, that alert only happens once. I don't know if I got rated again. It's not showing up, so... It's not showing up that you got hit with two. It's not showing up that I got hit with two, but thank you so much, Dizzy Dennis, for the raid. It's so good to see you. <laughs> the, uh... And you came with Jay Triumph. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Jay Triumph is the, is the, is the raider. Dizzy Dennis came along. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to both of you for suggesting to come see me. <laughs> I I always like meeting new friends, so thank you so much for coming by, everybody. We're just going to get started really soon. Let me go ahead and turn the music down a little bit, and we'll go ahead and get started with uh, this game. I have a little bit of history with this uh, game in particular. Um... I actually, this was actually the second game I bought uh, for myself. The first game. Ay, ay, ay. Hey there, bird girl. 
Um, it was the second game I bought in the series, and the first game was Oracle of Seasons that I got first. And Oracle of Seasons I got for a uh, graduation present. I won't say when that graduation was, but I was so happy to get it that my mom and dad actually got me Oracle of Ages soon for my birthday because I love playing seasons over and over again. They found out, oh, if you read the front, it says play both for the ultimate adventure. And my birthday was only a few months off. So they're like, we'll just get her both and uh, we'll be good. So they got me both and me and my brother played these games off and on throughout the time. I always started with seasons, never ages. So we'll be playing ages first and we'll see what happens when we go to seasons because you connect the two games into one. So <laughs> you doing okay over there, Natsuki? These hiccups are murder. <laughs> Newt, Newt, why am I keep getting Newt Newts? Something is wrong with my alerts. I keep getting Newt, Newt Newts, and I don't know why. Um, is there a way to reset the sounds? Uh, like your um, trigger fire, or because I keep getting raid sounds, and I'm not getting raided from anybody. Hold on. Try closing it out and out again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Try closing it out and out. I see what you mean. It's just endlessly going through. Yeah, it's like going through it again and again and again. Um, Let me see. Let me copy it real quick. Okay. It should be good now. If it doesn't, I'll I'll see what I can do next, okay? Other than that, let me go ahead and put up some other things real quick because I know some things are turned off. Okay. So, uh, as you know, this thing that popped up behind us, it is uh, the operator, and it tells us if it's an official cartridge or not. And it is an official cartridge, and I just want to say thank you to Vilasaurus Rex for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming a fellow trickster and I see you've been popping up here and there so thank you so much for putting your interest in chat uh, always happy to have a fellow person who likes to talk in chat <laughs> I gotta take a shower go take a shower don't don't wait too long okay alright uh, so everything is good on my end so far uh, we just have to launch the official game so let's go ahead and send that off Okay, here we go. This is the start of the game, everybody. I am going to have to change that for a second because now I know what's going on. Um, I can't push up. I can't push up for this thing because my hair is going to change. Give me a second while I fix that up real quick. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I need to just turn that off. Okay. But um. And this is the start of the game. We don't know where Link is going at all. We have an idea, but we don't know where. And as time goes on, we find out that he is actually going to uh, Ages, Ages side for now. We would start with Seasons, but we're not going to start there this time. Is this supposed to be a sequel to A Link to the Past? Um, it's actually a prequel to, I want to say, um... What's it called? Um, the game with the windfish. It's that. Oh, one. Link's Awakening. Oh, Link's Awakening. Yeah, this was a prequel before Link's Awakening. Yeah. Um, as for a link to the past, I don't quite think so. It could be. And as you know, this is the person that had this game before me, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. 
because they finished the game. So there we go. I don't really like going into people's games to find out where they were. I'm not a snoop, you know? <laughs> I like to keep the file and just not touch it. I, I personally take care of it myself. I'm just like, nope, I'm not going to be that type of person. Uh, whoever had it before and decided to put in their, uh, put in their, their time and effort into the game and stopped, I need to respect that. Alright, why aren't you working? Where is the actual- Why isn't what working? I'm not- I'm putting- I'm inputting the- The actual- Okay. There we go. I- X- I- uh, I can only do five letters, not six. That's- That's the drawback in these games. You can't really do too much- with uh, these actual, let's see, tricks. We can go Y, Trixie. There we go. Hyrule Historia said it was, but there's moments that don't make sense if it took place after Link to the Past. Yeah, I could see that. Um, you killed Link in the menu. You drained him of his heart. No, nah, that was somebody else. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll go about that fast. All right, so now that we saw what happened before, why Link is being summoned uh, by the Triforce to be sent elsewhere. Accept our quest, hero. Bird Girl apparently says no to accepting the quest. Oh, well, shame. We're going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <gasps> That was frightening. I was suddenly attacked. Thank you, Traveler. What is your name? Trixie, is it? I see a triangle on the back of your ha left hand. That is the sign of a Hyrulean hero. That must be why the beast fled. I am Impa, nurse to Hyrule's Princess Zelda. I am looking for a singer named Nairu. Will you help me look for Trixie? I feel safer with you nearby. Alright. We don't have a sword or anything, so this seems much more... I want to say... I Nobody should look blue like that. <laughs> nobody should really look blue like that unless they're uh, kind of uh, not breathing well. Um, what a great spot. Such clean air. Now if only I could have time to stop. Um, why are the monkeys talking? This is the animal's utopia. Soon more animals will come. Is this Avatar? Nah, this is an Avatar. But it should be if she's blue. Oh, that's it. Uh, ah, Flame Crystal. I see you got done with Metroid Prime. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, Raiders. I hope you had a fun time playing there. <laughs> Thank you for dropping on by. Yeah, something is definitely wrong with my alerts. I gotta check that out. Uh, try and move this rock for me, Trixie. Sure. What is this then? Hi, spider. Nice to see you. I can't do it. Okay, I'll push it. Thank you. Now let's go. Nairus has Lena City. It's a Zoraldo. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Miles. So hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Since you're playing a Nintendo game, I'll play one with you. Okay. Impo. Oh, God, I see what you mean. Why, Impo? Why are you blue? That's what I'd like to know. Why are you blue, Impo? Why are you blue? <sighs> Why are why you- Why are you- Why do you look like you're being asphyxiated? No. I have to hear Nairu's song. How charming. Shh. I can't hear Nairu sing. Huh? Nairu's the best singer in Labrina. 
la la li li la la li 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 la I need to get by. Aw, sit here and listen. How charming. Oh my god, you just can't tell someone why they're blue. <laughs> <laughs> She's blue, da ba dee da ba die. Like... Uh, for real though? Um. Yeah? For, for, for a Game Boy game, the animations of these early Game Boy Color games are phenomenal. They are. And just like, like the colors as well. Like, how do they get the colors so good for it? How do they get these retro games to look so good? Right. Even to this day and age. You're Hyrule's messengers, aren't you, Impa and Trixie? Right? A bird brought a message of your arrival. My name is Ralph. I am an old friend of Nairu's. We're counting on you. Counting on me to what? Thank you. You've come all the way from Hyrule, correct? Pleased to meet you. I am Nairu. I have been very worried after hearing that a Labrina would face many evil troubles. Don't worry, Nairu. I'm here. I'll chase away any beast that comes near you. Sorry, Trixie, but I doubt we'll need you. Oh, really? I'm yeah, sorry, keep Trixie. telling yourself that, honey. Ralph is always like this when it comes to me, but I feel that something evil is approaching. Just as Ralph claims. Uh-oh. Impa. I love the Hyrule Idol project. <laughs> we're counting on you. Yeah, we're counting on you not to screw up. <laughs> you are correct. Not bad for a diva. Not bad for Nairu. Oracle of Ages. Something terrible will happen right now before your very eyes. There's nothing I can do. I have no sword. Oh. Thank you, Trixie. You allowed me to pass through the sacred barrier. I've been waiting for this moment. I am Baran, Sorceress of Shadows. Nairu, is, um, Oracle of Ages, is, I shall make your body my own! <laughs> is Varan, uh, is, the, is there a different counterpart to, uh, uh, in the other game? In yeah. the other, other it, game? Which... Their name is Onyx. Onyx, right. Yeah. Varan has more of a, like, you, you see them often. Not as much as Onyx. Onyx jumps in, takes takes the hair takes the I want to say the Oracle and you don't see him until the end unlike Varan that keeps that keeps wanting to uh, be a part of what you're into what are you doing to Nairu I'll cut you in two if you don't let her go ha aren't you brave turning a sword at me if you cut me it's Nairu who dies Nairu is no mere diva. She is the Oracle of Ages and controls time. Now the Oracle's powers are mine. I can travel through time as I choose. Wow, she jumped good. <laughs> now a new age shall begin. The Age of Darkness. <laughs> You got that evil laugh down pat, honey. I shall go to the past and do as I please. Uh-oh. <laughs> he turned into an old man. Uh, now the monkeys are turning to stone? No, they're just ceasing to be. <gasps> oh 
my goodness. He's turned to stone. That Varan. She couldn't touch the stone, so she used you to get in here. I've known Nairu was the Oracle of Ages since she was a child. I have always been beside her, protecting her. Aw, Ralph. Ralphie. But know this, Nairu. Nairu, wait, I'll save you. Nairu. Bye, Ralph. Emergency meeting. Hi, Neko. Nero Chan. Wait, Nero Khan. Nero Khan, JC. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. To think I was possessed. Shadows were surrounding the Oracle of Ages, so I was, came hoping to take her to Hyrule. I had no idea this would happen. That Varan lady is frightening. I was forced to do her well in spite of myself. Varan said she'd go back in time. She must be planning to use Nairu's power to launch some sort of plan in the past. Labrina already feels the effects. If it's true, we must stop her. Ugh, my limbs. They feel so heavy after what Varan did. I can't move them very easily. Trixie, if the triangle on your left hand is real, then you may be the hero who will save this world. Please help us. Ah, yes. Zelda entrusted this sword to me. You may use it. You got the hero's wooden sword. Really? Really? That's what we're going to call it? Mm, wood. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't called the Morning Glory wooden sword, you know? <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> Trixie, you go meet the Makuchui in Lena Village. The Makuchui is the guardian of Labrina. Surely she can help. Nairu's house is in the woods. East of here. I'll be there. All right. Ah, uh, I miss that classic music. Ba -da 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 -da. At least I'll give monsters a concussion. That's true. It's big enough, isn't it? A big, big wooden sword. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Please save Nairu. I'll go save her when I'm good and ready. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'll definitely save your oracle. Save uh... the oracle. In, uh, 20 years. <laughs> well, right now we're in the future, I believe. So we can only move forward back from the present to the past. So, from what I remember, I haven't played this in a long time, so it, it feels like a new game to me. Um, and I was saving playing it for stream. And then when I found out that Nintendo Online was actually going to be doing this, I was like, okay, um... Let's bring it in so everybody gets hyped up for this game that's coming up soon, before they release it. <laughs> you, how, where'd you get your copy from? I got it from the Retro Game Trader. That's Ooh. over here in Oregon. And everybody likes to come here. They go, come from miles around just to go to Retro Game Trader. And that's where I bought my copy. Originally, I have this game back at home, but I... I ran away from home, so I really can't go back. You can't really go get it. Nope. That's okay. I believe these are... You can't carry them like that. Okay. Yeah, I gave up a lot of games I loved growing up. Like, I gave up my Goemon games for my N64. I gave up... Uh, Donkey Kong 64. I gave up a lot of my Game Boy Color games. I gave up my Game Boy. Everything. They're building a tower on the other side of the river. Okay. So what kind of candy is never on time? Chocolate. Isn't that a sweet joke? I'm laughing. That joke goes against our aesthetics, you know. <laughs> That's funny. 
I... I was so funny. It was so funny, I forgot to laugh. Aww. He did turn to stone. It's okay. We'll try and figure a way how to get him back, okay? Okay, so... The monkeys... Flat out die. And the kid turns to stone. Alright, I see where your- I see where your standards lie, Nintendo. Want to learn about the subscreens? No. <laughs> learn about essences? No. <laughs> Ages? Sure. Present age and the past age are related. Events in the past affect events in the present. Also, items found only in the present can be taken to the past. Yeah, originally there were supposed to be three oracles. You were supposed to have the Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, and I don't know what the third oracle was supposed to be called. I am Troy. In my younger days, I have traveled to the world and saw many animals. Even at my age, I am quite dedicated. You show me promise if you've come to hear me speak. Just between us, I have seen a monster called a wisp that jinxes you when you touch it. Spacey Bat, thank you so much for the follow. Let me see. Welcome <laughs> in, everybody. It. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome Come in. Come in, enjoy yourself, have some fun, talk with all of us. And if you don't want to talk to you and you want to lurk around, you're also welcome to do that, too. <laughs> oh! Third Oracle pops up in this game as the Oracle of Secrets. Nice. I like that. Okay. You can't take your sword out. When it happens, how frightful. Oh, okay. Okay. My, 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 uh, just, my in-game audio is, my, my Switch audio is not coming through. Oh, Discord, wait! But... I know who Spacey Bat is. I watch Spacey Bat. <laughs> Hi. God, I didn't think I had stopped by, but you proved me wrong. <laughs> Welcome! If you haven't seen Spacey back, go check her out. She's a good VTuber. Uh, can we give her a shout out, Natsuki? I gotcha. Yeah, I usually watch your streams from time to time, so it's good to see you. Oh, I know Spacey Bat. Yeah, Spacey Bat. She's oh. definitely a cutie. <laughs> oh, 100%. You're welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I thought I recognized your name at first. I was like, wait, that, why does that sound so familiar? <laughs> All right, don't mind me. I'm going to quickly, uh, let's uh, command grab your uh, Twitch link. Okay. Well, I can't go that way. And yeah, yeah, yeet, spacey bat, an actual follow. So I thought I did that a while ago, but I guess not. Yeah, I, I enjoy her content. She does really good. Uh, games that play from time to time and when I have the time I usually try to stop by <laughs> But she has a cute she has a cute VTuber. Oh I think 100%. They reference the third canceled Oracle game and the Minish Cap game The Oracle Ages and Oracle Seasons both have houses in the game, but the third Oracle doesn't have a house Yeah, I think they're like inside the tree from what I remember Do you know of a good way to hide its face? I do not know of a good way to hide its face. <laughs> Why would you want to hide your dog's face? That doesn't make any sense. Doggies like to show their faces off. This is like, I, I used to have a pet, uh, a, a pet chug, which is like a chihuahua pug mix. And she had the most adorable face ever. You know, she wasn't a purebed, but she was so happy and lovable. And you know what we called her? We called her Stella. Because she was that awesome. Let's see. I am Bippin, the expert arborist. I know plenty about trees, but let me tell you something. Blossom and I just had our first child. Yes, we did. Have a look. I am Blossom. This is my first child, a healthy baby boy. I am having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? What should we call him, chat? What shall we call this boy? Only five letters long. Um... Rin. R-I-N. Rin? What do you think, yeah. chat? 
Should we call them Rin? Or should we call them something else? Huey? I see Huey. I see Rin. Rin sounds cute. Now, just to let chat know, uh, this child, we have to come back at some point and give them something. And if we do play the next game, uh, we'll actually see the child grow up a little bit. So it's totally up to you what you uh, want to see. Hi, Shino. Nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Shino. Well, I'm not seeing too many people disagree with Rin. So we'll go with Rin. Would you name him Rin? Yes. It's a fine name. I shall call him so. He seems happy to have it. Come visit us at any time. A wow voice in the back. That's Natsuki. Let me see if I can pull him up in a second. Hang on. Surprising. Hi, I'm the pink-haired fox from your friends list. Oh, boy. I got you <laughs> huge right now. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. I like how your shirt says psycho. <laughs> yeah. Pretty little psycho. There we go. Now you can see her. She's big. Yeah, she's very big. Alright. Let's see. Didn't we see you in the earlier cutscene? The Mako tree stands at the far end of this cave. Okay, so I guess we go in there. Maku Road. So, we're in our first dungeon. Yay! Um, let's see. Danger. Uh, I'm not seeing a way to fix that. So, now they be tiny. Yes, I made them tiny. <laughs> Don't make me too tiny now. I'm supposed to be... Supposed to be much... I'm supposed to be taller than you. <laughs> you are, but not in human form. Which is what I am I, right now. If I... If all I have to do is change to human too, and then I'll be tall, taller than you again. That's true. Pleased to meet <laughs> you, young hero. I am the Makuchi, guardian of Labrina. Varan, source of the shadows, has taken Nairu, the Oracle of Ages. She's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. We cannot give in to one of impure heart. You must stop Varan, and soon. But to stop her, you'll need something. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh, I feel so weird. I'm vanishing. Something must be happening to me in the past. No way! How? I can't believe this! <laughs> I can't believe it either. Uh, she's gone. She's like literally gone. The Maku tree? This is more of Varan's work. Trixie, you made it. Varan just slept through this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nairu. And the Maku tree. I'm coming, Nairu. Someone must save her on fire in the past. Oh, wow, I like that transition. Yes, the tree is so cute. Another one? First that guy with the weird hat appears, and then you. Ever since that girl Nairu came, there's been all sorts of weird goings on. There's something I want to say about that part. Bop, 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 bop. Break the shit, I'm out. <laughs> I can't say it any worse than that, God. The Makuchi is the talking tree, but lately she's been bothered by the monsters. This is Lena Village. Oh, oh, excuse me, we haven't had any nights for a few days now. Nights? You haven't had nights? I like nights. Full of rubber ever since work started on that tower. You can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. Well, we're gonna have to find a shovel. Clean for GBC? I know, it didn't really look that way in GBC. I mean, any of you play the GBC, the Game Boy Color? How dim it used to be until they actually came out with the other upgraded Game Boy Color? SP, I think that's what it was called. 
The village is full of excess dirt from the tower. There's no room to walk, and the tools we could use to clear the path are being used for construction. Well, let's see if we can find it. Oh, I like the pigtails on this girl. The queen was very kind until recently. You can ask the village elder about the queen. He lives across the river near the tower. The Game Boy Advance, yeah. We had the Game Boy Advance, and then we had the Game Boy Color, and the regular Game Boy. The Color was a little bit better. The Game Boy SP is a thing, too. Yeah, the S SP was a thing, too. But that was for Advance, correct. Um, I was wrong about that. So, there's been no night for many days as if time has stopped. I remember having the Game Boy Color and using that, like, little worm light. <laughs> So I could see a little bit better. <laughs> right. The worm light was something else. I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. God. I'm rafting. My dream is to make fine grass that can sell the seas. I have nothing to give you, rafting. You loved my GVC. I played Pokemon Blue religiously. Yeah, I actually got a story about that in case people want to hear about it. I've already told it, like, a few times, but if people want to hear it again, I don't mind saying it. Um, my first Game Boy Color I got, um, me and my brother had saved up change in our little piggy bank for about a year, and it was like, we asked our mom and dad if we could get Pokemon. That was the one game we wanted, and they were like, oh, yeah, 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 we, but we're not buying it for you. You're going to have to do that yourself. And That's so mean. Yeah, so we actually came together. We did extra odd jobs just to get the Game Boy Color. And, uh, well, not the Game Boy Color, just a regular Game Boy with uh, Pokemon. And my mom was always telling us, if you want the game and you want the Game Boy, you're going to have to buy them together, and it's probably going to cost you close to over $100. So me and my brother and cool. scrounged, scrounged for everything that we could find. That is a lot of money for a child. Mm -hmm. But we knew if we were patient enough and if we saved up all our, you know, our monies, we could eventually get it. Because all the kids were talking about Pokemon. And eventually, um, we got enough. And we're like, let's go. Let's go get our Pokemon game and our Game Boy. Our, we were thinking about getting the Game Boy Pocket. So we went to Toys R Us. And we had a... Uh, we were looking for the which one we wanted. We were trying to decide whether we wanted red or blue. And I believe it was... Uh, I, I, I kind of convinced my brother into it. Because he wanted the blue. I wanted red. And I was like, look... My the run I want has a dragon on it. Don't you like dragons? And he's like, yeah, I like dragons. And I'm like, then let's get red. So we decided on red. And we decide on the Game Boy. And we're like, okay, Dad, we're gonna we we want we want this is what we want because we saved we saved up for it. And Dad was the one who took us to uh to Toys R Us. So he takes us. And, uh, before we can make a decision, he's like, Alright, uh, you two, I'm not, I'm not getting you the Game Boy Pocket. <laughs> and we're like, why not? We want it. And he's like, nope, I'm not getting you the Game Boy Pocket because I found something better. And oh. we're like, what is it? And he says, I want the Game Boy Color. <laughs> and... We're like, what about the Game Boy Color? It's like, well, you can play your Game Boy games in color if you get it. And we were just like, you could do that? <laughs> so, <laughs> we debated about it. It was like, I'll get you the Game Boy Color, but there's a catch. And we're like, well, what, what, what's the catch? And uh, he said, well, I'll... I'll help pay for the Game Boy Color, but I also want to play Zelda, um, the the Wind Waker game, and because that one came out on Game Boy Color and for Game Boy, for both, you could play them on both systems. And he Wind wanted Waker? was he, a Game Boy game, not Wind Waker. Um, yeah. I keep forgetting the name because I know it so well. It's the one with the windfish. 
Um, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. That's it. He wanted Link's Awakening. And I was like, okay, we'll go for Link's Awakening. And when we got the Game Boy and we got the game, my brother was the first one to play uh, Pokemon while we waited in the car. And we're just like, uh... We, we made a deal with Dad. And... Dad's like, that's my Game Boy now. And then he took the Game Boy Color from us yeah, and man. actually put uh, Link's Awakening inside it and says, I have this Game Boy for the next week or two. <laughs> we just kind of went, what? <laughs> and that's what he did. He held on to it for about a week or two while he played Zelda. And we didn't get to play it until he was done. And But after that, we played uh, Pokemon Red for a for a good while. We played for it for like four months. And he, uh, eventually me and my brother had lost the Game Boy Color after four months because we left it in my sister's baby cart in the hospital and someone had actually taken it from us. And we were so distraught. We were just like, no, our Game Boy Color. No, no, no. I don't like this. And we cried about it. We looked everywhere for it. We couldn't find it. And eventually, uh, we just didn't know where it was. And so our mom and dad just kind of tell us, it's okay, it's okay, you know, these things happen. And uh, they kind of took me and my brother to the side and they said, you know, don't worry about it. You know, this take it as a learning lesson, you know. And, you know, I know you two worked really hard to get that stuff. So don't worry about it. And we we just kept looking for it. We couldn't find it. We couldn't find it at home. We couldn't find it in the baby cart. We couldn't find it anywhere. So around, I want to say, um, around uh, Thanksgiving time, my dad had told us that we were going to go on vacation. And... We were like, okay, we're going on vacation around Thanksgiving. We were going to go to Lake Tahoe. And we were going to be sitting in the bucket seats in the truck. And me and my brother did not look forward to that because it was going to be over a nine-hour drive. We weren't, we did not like those seats because they made your, your little behind sore. <laughs> they were not cushioned very well. And we also had a baby in between our legs. So we were kind of like scrunched up like sardines. And, you know, we had woken up early that day. And we sit down in our bucket seats and we're just like, okay, we're not looking forward to this. And uh, we sit down and we get my sister in between us. So, you know, we're kind of scrunched up already and we're going to be like that for nine hours. And my my mother and my father are like so we have a question for you too would you like your presents your Christmas presents early and we're like um yeah <laughs> we'd like our Christmas presents early thank you very much and they tell us to close our eyes and if we opened them while they gave them to us they would take them back and uh, wait for Christmas so me and my brother, we, we closed our eyes tight and we waited and we waited until we felt something small but big at the same time. And on top of that, another thing. Both of us both got this thing. It was like he, my brother got the same thing. He got a, a kind of like a medium-sized box and a smaller box on top. And I got that too. And they said, okay, open your eyes. And we opened our eyes, and there before us, we we couldn't describe what we got. It was like <laughs> it was like Christmas morning had come early, like they said. Uh, I had gotten uh, I want to say a bluish green Game Boy Color, a turquoise Game Boy Color, and with Pokemon Red. And my brother had gotten the purple see through Game Boy Color with a. Uh, Pokemon Blue. And we also got the little link cable to it. And 
<laughs> we were so ecstatic that the that the soreness on our butts did not last very long. It was like we we had gotten something we thought we would never see. And so we enjoyed playing Pokemon all the way up to Tahoe, not not giving it much thought. And we were just like it was like one of the best days of our lives. We didn't even think anything of it. We we're just like, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. We cried because, uh, you know, we lost our one game. And uh, pretty soon we found our, our, our sister playing Pokemon 2 and we would talk Pokemon with her on the way up. She'd giggle and laugh. And we're like, hey, hey, sis, should we trade this one for, you know, for this one and my sister would just giggle or she just kind of give us a funny face <laughs> and we just kind of do that with each other for about nine hours but we had so much fun playing that that uh it can't, we kind of lost track of time and it was fun it was really fun and my 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 dad would always take my game boy he's like let me play your game boy <laughs> i haven't played the game boy color in a while <laughs> so he played my game boy when i play with my sister just thinking next time I go back and play. But yeah, it was it was enjoyable. I enjoyed those times with my Game Boy Color. And that was just one experience that I had with it. And uh, me and my brother were just like, we were inseparable. But, you know, times change as time goes on. And uh, I don't think my brother was very into Pokemon as he grew up. But my sister became interested, and she started playing Pokemon. <laughs> so it was it it was like some of her first words were like Pikachu and uh, Game Boy games, and she got interested in Nintendo too because of us. So it was like she was she was excited to play next whenever uh, my brother wasn't playing. She'd take her stuff, take his stuff, and be like, oh my turn <laughs> and so we play with different stuff especially with the game boys as well and i would never give up that game boy but i had to i had to leave it behind when i went uh when i eventually left home i didn't think anything of it at the time but i wish i could go back and grab it because it just has that much sentimental value to me so <laughs> I'm glad you all like the story. Thank you. But yeah, that's that's one story I really love telling people if they want to hear it. And some people here have probably heard it, you know, for the 14th time. But I still love playing uh, the Game Boy Color games. Especially now, since you can actually emulate them like I'm doing. Uh, especially with an actual cartridge. So it's pretty neat that I can actually still play the game on the actual physical form on the computer so it just brings back a lot of memories to me oh i thought it was uh, something else paper do you have any paper that reminds me of like a uh, majora's mask that's when you first see that hand i sure they don't mind especially if it's a good story <laughs> just as long as people enjoy it you know you know something, Trixie? What? What do I know? Are you just talking about the story? Yeah. People like the story. I'm happy they like the story. I have plenty more stories to talk about, too. Alright. I'm gonna need some things, but I don't know where I'm going right now. Let's see. I know I need a shovel, so maybe I need to get back. <sighs> Hello, I return. You were having a really bad evening, and a lot of things came up that put me in a really depressing state. Then I came in here, and you told the story to feel a lot better now. Yay! I'm glad you feel a lot better now, Shino. Just That's so honestly Trixie's freaking superpower, is making people <laughs> feel better. Uh... Uh, if you guys see that as a superpower, I'll use my superpower as much as you, as much as I can. Okay, I see it as you know, as a fun time. So, <laughs> yes, Natsuki is back. Isn't that great? Okay, I can go yeah. in the tower. The black tower. Thank you, Casey. Remember, remember, you have my permission to call me Naki. Naki. Okay. 
It's it is a nickname given given the authority by a chosen few. I'll look forward to more streams in the future. Yes. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> Trixie is my go-to comfrey streamer for the reason. Ah. I'm glad you guys have a fun, comfy time here. I, I love telling stories. I love relating. So don't be afraid to, you know, let me know if you want to hear something else, okay? Or if you have a something I have an opinion about or anything like that. I try to do my best about it. But the only thing I can say is don't let me... Uh, I don't want to talk about politics. That's one thing we don't talk about here, okay? Um, everybody's welcome here, no matter where you come from. Okay? Uh, we, we accept everybody here. So, that's the one thing I want to make sure that's pointed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, Trixie. Yes! <laughs> and Casey is a good friend of mine, too. The Panther Casey. Um, she's actually uh, uh, very close, so she's part of the Knothole crew. And I'm very fortunate to know her as well. I got to see her last year. She was very sweet. And she's even our DM in D&D uh, &D Nights. And she's very good at it. No matter how many times I, I have to say it, she's very good at what she does. And she's hopefully going to stream soon too. So be on the lookout for her. She's a very sweet person. <laughs> uh, she's also... A member of Team Sugar Crush with me Yay. and Willow Kitty. Ah, <laughs> uh, are you triggered? I'm sorry. I just thought I'd give you a little, little something that people could look forward to in the future. If you don't want me to talk about it, I'll stay away from it. But I thought people should know. <laughs> oh no, no! Give her more attention. She deserves it. All right, so I got a shovel now. Yes, you know those emotes. That is Shadowkun. Shadowkun is also a friend of us. Uh, she's a Mobian VTuber as well. And she likes streaming on Zelda and uh, many other variety games that she likes talking about. <laughs> she is very amazing, yes. All right, now that we got this, we can actually dig up the heart. Got a piece of heart. And we know the drill. You get four pieces, you get a full heart. She's amazing. Agreed. Shadow is amazing, and anybody here that I've talked about or put in high spirits, you're all amazing in your in all your talents, okay? Don't don't think you're you won't excel at anything or you won't be good at anything. Things take time. And if you enjoy it. You know, that's the most important thing. If you enjoy it, people will enjoy it with you. We got a piece of... I thought I was going to say something else. <laughs> I don't have the paper for the mailman. I can't do it if I don't know the time. Okay, so he needs a clock of some sort. I'm so nice. Well, I'm just being myself. I think everybody has a talent or many talents they can share with other people if they feel open about it. Don't be we ashamed. Stand. Don't be ashamed about who you are. Okay. We stand, Trixie, here. <laughs> P. Know that we genuinely love and care for you. Thank you. It means... That means a lot. Not to key. I've... I, I, I don't talk about it a lot, but I've I've spent many years thinking, you know, I'm I'm I I'm a mistake, you know, because I've heard this from, you know, like other people, including, you know, people I love or, you know, it's just like or people have told me, you know, you're weird or anything like that. No, you're none of those things. I will throw hands. Who called you weird? It it was just growing up, you know. It's just like, these things do not make you any less than who you are. You, well have, you have a lot of special things that other people love about who you are, what you are, what you can do. And 
you know, I look back and I wish I could tell my younger self, you're not any of those things. I see those Shy Lily emotes. So, Shy Lily, yes, Shy Lily, I love Shy Lily, she's so funny. <laughs> Shy Lily is oh. something else. <laughs> she gets taken out of context so freaking much. Right. I, I like her womp womps. It's just a fun way to say it. She's just like, womp womp. Womp womp, womp womp. And I'm just like, oh my god, that's so cute. But some people take it in a different direction. <laughs> Freaking perverts. Uh, but you know, if, if people go there to go see her for her, that's that that's the plus, you know. I I, I highly recommend people to do that for the person, not for, you know, just to like, uh, oh, look at her. Just like if, if you're there for that reason uh, alone, you're not gonna stay very long. Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> the people that are there just for the fan service, yeah. Let me see, how am I gonna do this? Um the puzzle. Let's see. Did you see her little baby Arca she has now? I have not. I haven't actually seen her, uh, that Arca yet. And she has a baby? That's cute. Oh, um, ow, that hurt. I'm thinking, hang on. Can I do this? No. What can be pushed and what cannot be pushed? Um. It's, uh... It, it there is no indicator as far as I'm aware in the early game in the early Game Boy games. That's right. Uh, can I you, push this? You kind of you kind of just gotta fuck around and find out. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything that can be pushed up there. Um. Okay. There we go. Yay! It was that hard. Nice. Um, can I push this? How about this? I can't push that. I can push that. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Well, yes, I do love boobies, but most importantly, I love your great big heart, Ulu. <laughs> you mean the one on my head? <laughs> that one? <laughs> uh... I like my little height. Oh, here we are. We, this, this is the guy Varan was talking about. Get him. No, no, leave me alone. Hey, leave her alone. What's with you? Keep clear. I'm uh, the same way, Shino. That's, uh, that's why I'm happy I was, that's why I'm happy I was able to meet, uh, Trixie. Yeah, and we, we were able to get so close. We actually met by a message you sent to me on Twitch. Yes. Uh, to, was it Twitch it was or was Twitch. it Twitter? It was Twitch. Whose chat were we in? You were talking to me through my own channel back when I was just uh, starting out. Wow, you were so daring and cool. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like there was more to it than that. Thank you. Was... Who are you? Trixie. What a nice name. I'm the Makichi. You were so brave. They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Queen Ambi to build a black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never ever forget it. And I promise I'll repay you when I grow up. This is about all I can do. <laughs> Remember, I will repay you when I grow up. Be sure to come see me. All right. Um, when I grow up, I'm going to be your bride. <gasps> I said it. <laughs> hey, hey, you. You got a lot more to live for, okay? Don't be shut. Don't be spreading those things like you they're willy nilly. You should be saying that to sure. somebody you love, okay? <laughs> you sound like a harem protagonist right now. I am not a harem protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the gate is open. We go back, and there she is. Uh, it's weird. It all seems so foggy. I'm forgetting so much. Oh, you're... You're... Trixie, Trixie. 
why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you. Don't you remember? Hundreds of years ago. Trixie, you promised. When I grow up, I'll marry you. That's what you said, Trixie. No, that's what you said. <gasps> 400 years ago, I waited. But I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by a thread of... What? That's not why you're here? Why won't you listen to me? Fine. You want to talk about Varan, right? Maybe Varan is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens if one of impure heart against the powers of shadow. This world will become covered in darkness. That's what this is about. <laughs> to know the past is to know the present. Varan can do as she pleases if, the if she finds the dark power in the past. All will go dark. Trixie, you must stop Varan and save Nairu. Must I say it again? No. I don't recall, but I think you need the eight essences of time hidden in Labrina to beat Varan. The essences hold the power to see the truth, and they hold the mind memory. You won't beat Varan if you can't see the truth. With the flow of time disrupted, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at a loss. But if you find the essences, I'll remember everything, and you'll be able to stop Varan. Please do this. Trixie. First, I want you to go to Yall Graveyard in the east. I hear the first essence there. I can't do much but take this. Ember seeds. In the sea, Satchel will offer light in the dark places and burn small trees from your path. Oh, we need that. Seed Satchel. It has 20 ember seeds. Mind if I climb up in here? Let's see. Well, I'll definitely be around more often and get to know you as well as everybody else in this community. That's great, Shino. Thank you. I'm sure everybody which, would love to get to know you better. I mean, everyone which reminds loves me. Everyone in a harem enemy loves the harem okay. enemy protagonist, so. <laughs> All right. You do not have a Discord command set up. Nope. One moment. One moment for you. You can keep going, but however, chat, if you're not a member of our little community Discord, uh, where is it? Um, if you're not a member of our community Discord, please come on and join in. We'd love to have you. Yeah, we'd love to have you there. Do you have a fun time getting to know me? I'm pretty sure you'll love to getting to know all the other people in Napoli. We have people who drop by, talk with each other, inspire one another, and if you do creative crafts or anything like that, we're always willing to help and support you. So, come show what you got. And if you just want to enjoy a good community that's there for everybody, we're there for you too, okay? We also try to host uh, community events as often as we can. Mm-hmm. Good old Sonic Sat AM. <laughs> That is a good show. It's one of my favorite shows, to be the exact, of Sonic. But I like Sonic Boom probably a little bit more, which is kind of funny. Do come in. I am Vasu, the jeweler. Is this your first time? Then let me explain jewelry. Rings made from mystical seeds have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed to you. But you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken, and you won't be able to use it. Understood? Yes. You don't have a ring box. I like you, so here, take this ring box. Got an L1 ring box. It can hold one ring. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. All right. You got a ring. Get it appraised later. Until you've had a ring appraised and its power revealed, you cannot wear it. Let's appraise it. Uh, yeah, praise that. Let's see. I call this the friendship ring. Symbol of a meeting. I'll appraise it for free this time. But after this, it will be 20 rubies per ring. If you get two of the same ring, I'll buy one for 30 rupees. Now the list of appraised rings get added to the list. When you want a ring, move it from your list to your box. Talk to me to see your list. Let's take a peek at it now. Okay, friendship ring. Okay. So there we go. Rings do nothing unless worn. Okay. Going through all the rules right now? Yeah. 
go through all the rules, see, you can select who you like to watch, who you like to get pinged by. I recommend anybody uh, to see first, to try to see who they are, and then make a ping on who you're interested by. Um, it could be anybody. You can you can even ping me, you can ping Zonic, you can ping Matthew, you can ping Natsuki, you can ping Deku, you can ping Mana. Oh, there's which a, reminds me. There's a few people that haven't got uh, the ping yet, or they're not streaming at the moment, but they're all there to run things. The Discord is actually not run by me, but it's actually run by Zenny, and she's a big, huge person in our community. You'll see her playing uh on streams with zonic matthew and myself sometimes in fact if you actually go to matthew's stream right now uh matthew lunar wolf matthew lunar wolf matthew that's what they call him uh he is actually streaming with zenny and zonic right now they're playing split two and three they usually play every sunday night so they they usually do that little hangout together <laughs> And why don't I do that? Because I don't really play Splatoon 3 all that much. <laughs> okay, so I can't go that way. Let's see. They said to the east, so... Oh, I got something. That's right. I have... Let's see. I have these. So, let me go ahead... And put that there. Okay. And burns the tree. Okay. Uh, Trixie. Yes. The uh, the thing Wolfboy made that I showed the other day. Should I put that in rules and info or announcements? Uh, you can put that in. Uh, you can put that in announcements. That sounds like it'll be there. Alrighty. No way, it's too it scary. Was. It's pitch black inside that cave beneath the tree. Shut up. It's no good if you get scared. Besides, it might come out. The ghost. <laughs> You're all scared of a little ghost, huh? I'm sorry. Let's see if we can make this ghost come out. Softer is great for planting seeds. Well, I don't have any seeds. So, I guess we'll have to come back and grab that some other point. You still don't have Splatoon 3? That's fine. It's not going anywhere. It just came out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't have that game at the moment. Alright. I got that going on. It looks like a skull. We got a key! We got the graveyard key. Nice. <laughs> so now that we got the graveyard key, I think we could be able to get into the next part. And I think the graveyard has, like, I want to say the... Oh, look at the friendly ghost! He's so cute! You see that ghost? I know how to get the ghost to come out. Proceeds to commit arson. <laughs> I have committed the gravest sin of all. Burning things down. <laughs> ah, not these guys. I don't like these guys very much. They always, uh... They need a buzz off. For a couple of buzzards. Let's see. I don't have the... Uh, bracelet yet, so I need to go get that. It is a cute ghost. Yeah, it's a very cute ghost. Spirit's grave. One thing that always fascinates me is seeing the eyes of these, like, little statues follow you. I always try to get the pattern to stop, but I guess it's just, like, wherever you walk, the, like, I want to say the creators made sure that they would look at you in a certain direction. Let's see. Oh my god, I just set him on fire. <laughs> I don't mean to set things on fire. I just tried to hit them with a the sword. That's all. Uh, had an ash way to go. Uh-oh. Nope. Get off me. Okay. There we go. Ooh, ooh. 
and there. I'm in. Sweet. Welcome to the welcome to Nat Hall if you are welcome. signed up for it. Welcome in, Sheena. Welcome, Sheena. Okay. We're going here. And we got the dungeon map. Not bad. That's how it's supposed to go, so I can open up the can which one is it? Let's see. Um, how do you check the dungeon map? Let's see. I got the seed satchel, yeah. Wind sword. I'm trying to find the the actual no, 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 no. Don't want to take care of that. Is it backspace? It's backspace. Okay. So backspace is select and start is to check my inventory. No, I don't want to get rid of this, please. Stop pushing escape, me. <laughs> so this is the whole map of the area. It's not too big. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to open it back up again. Okay. And then we open it like that. I want to go to the right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. How you doing over there? That's a key. Minus my freaking um hiccups, I'm doing all right. Good. I uh, I booted up Minished Cap. Because uh, that's on the Game Boy thing on the uh, Switch. Ah, what game are you playing? Uh, it's it's another it's a Legend of Zelda game. Oh, Minish Cap, right? Yeah, yeah, Legend of Zelda: The Minish Cap. Okay, I cannot move you. I can't move you either. So I guess I'm okay here. Freaking. Um, uh, all my, I, f I hunted down my, um, my copy of Minish Cap to see if my data was still there, and lo and behold, it was not. To everybody here, Sora has arrived. That is their call. <laughs> Hi, Sora. Hi, Sora. How you doing? Sora's always got to make sure they get announced with that sound. It's like their way of saying, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> I hope you're having a good night, Sora. And there's a shout out from Natsuki. Sora is actually a variety streamer like myself. They are part of the crew in Knothole. So if you want to go check them out, they are usually streaming from time to time. They've recently been playing Pokemon. And they are a very dear friend of me as well. So, highly recommend seeing them. Uh, I will say they are very, uh, um, rude. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, just don't even bother putting it lightly. They're a horny hedgehog. <laughs> but Sora, Sora means well from the bottom of their heart. And I worry about them, so... I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> this <is> Sora... <laughs> You're a horny hedgy. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Okay? I didn't say such things. I No, I know you didn't. I did. I'm not ashamed to spit facts. Okay, we are in a mid-boss. What? Go. Uh-oh. No, get away from me. Oh, boy. Can I hit him? Did the did the direct announce a Splatoon 3 DLC? I think they did, yeah. From what I remember. Oh boy. Give me a sec. I'm gonna smash him. Okay. Let's see if I can get him. Not good, not good. All right. Yay! 
That wasn't too hard. Sora, we meet again, says Shino. <laughs> I just imagine them, like, squaring off, like, in the, you know, JoJo scene. With the, uh... Yeah, that's literally what I was thinking. <laughs> I now need to see it. She knows, she know, uh, Jojo, she, she know and Sora, how, how does Jojo that, walking at each other. How does that saying go? It's like, Jotaro. Uh, Jotaro. Dio. <laughs> Dio. Oh, my cup is in the car. Most I don't hit me nine in gin this again. Mingen no she, I can't do uh, Jotaro <laughs> my life. and then it's the really sexy the sexy scene comes the sexy walk scene yeah I always like that scene I I don't know too much of uh, of Jojo but I really should I should brush up on my Jotaro and everything I know frick all about Jojo's I just like the memes the memes exactly Okay, I got the Gasha Seed. I'm gonna need that. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, me cut the Tazuka. Neo doiki, Neo noihi, the Shimoi, the Ningin Nisi Gaishin Or something like that. Let me go to the right. I don't think I've been to the right yet. Yeah. How do I get go. to the left? What the frick? Whatever. Alright, so now I'm oh, stuck in here. Trying. Uh, which way do I want to go? Let's go to the right. Okay. There's that. And can I go to the left? I can. Okay. Nice! And now we got... Treasure chest. But um, oh. small keys. For a moment, I thought Natsuki was broken and could only speak Japanese. <laughs> they know Japanese. They can. They've learned it in school before, from what they tell me. Yeah, I'm. I'm still learning, but I am in the. But I. Uh... But I, I did take a, I did take a couple years of it in school, and then I started learning through uh, online courses. Pop. Now there was a, a key I had to put in over here, right? Yeah. All right, now I need to go in there. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, the, the first dungeon is usually pretty easy. You don't have to rack your brain to just like, okay, how do I do this? Uh, especially when you have the dungeon memorized. Mm -hmm. the dungeon, I have lost. The dungeon you go ahead. isn't too bad. Okay, and then you go down here. Ah, oh, there's the bracelet. I just make my way up. Ba da! From. Yeah. I read that comment. <laughs> I hope you're doing well tonight, everybody. Those of you that are just coming in, or those of you who are just uh, still here, hope your night's going really well. I have been enjoying it so far, and the other day I had pizza, so I'm very happy right now. <laughs> you know what my one favorite thing about ordering a pizza is? Hmm. There's always going to be leftovers later. Truth. Yeah. I, I love having good pizza. I don't typically order meaty pizzas. I like to order veggie pizzas. They're my favorite. So if people are like, what do you want? I'm usually a veggie veggie girl or I put like fruit and veggies on top of it. Not so much like ham or meat or anything like that. I'll do it every once in a while, but 
for the most part, I really like like vegetables on my uh, pizza. I I'm sorry. I need to I need to have some meat on my pizza. Yeah, I just like I like veggies on my pizza. That's just who I am. Like I like like I like I love veggies on my pizza. Don't get me wrong. Mhm. Mm but but I need some meat on my pizza. <laughs> I, I don't mind what kind of meat, whether it be ham, bacon. I've had Hawaiian pizza. That's pretty good. But usually... I love, 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 love Hawaiian pizza. I, I also like another one of my favorite pizzas. If it's not a veggie, if it's not a Hawaiian, um, I usually like a good... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a margarita pizza. Margarita pizzas are good. But that's also a veggie. So, I I just those, usually if the taste is really good, if it's very uh, what do they call it? If it's not salty, it's what? Um, I want to say if it's not salty and if it's just uh, oh God, I if you're not a salty person, what are you? It like for food. A sweet person normally. Not a sweet. Um savory. Savory. It, you're more I'm more of a savory type of gal. So it's like if it's too sweet, I, I'll I'll put it back. But if it's savory, oh my god. I, I love savory items. So like some of the most expensive things that are like, you know, give you that feeling of elation, God. That fills me much with more joy than any sweet thing can, because sweet things make my jaw hurt a little bit. <laughs> but I still, I still enjoy something sweet. I, I need both, you know, to be savory. Respect. Let's see. That's right. I'm going up. So let me go up. Okay, we can get the chest now. We don't need the compass now. We got about everything. At least I think we do. We don't have everything. Okay. I can't pick it up. But can I... Can I burn it? Let's see. Yep, I can burn it. Okay. I didn't even know this was here. Let's step on that. All right, we got a ring. We were just told about rings not too long ago. Now we can go this way. And make our way up to the... The boss room. I remember when I was very young, I would watch my dad play Zelda, and I'd just be memorized at all the things he could do. I'm just like, how do you do that? And you're just like, you gotta be brave to play Zelda, and you have to have a head that knows how to love puzzles. And I was just like, I could never do that. And it was just like, yeah, you can. I know you can. You're my child. And eventually I started playing on my own. I was so scared to play them. I was like, I'm going in. I'm going to fight the big bads. <laughs> the the first time I actually did that was like in uh, Zelda N64. I was just so <laughs> scared because the monsters look so different. Okay, we have here. The... Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to smack your thing over here. Hey, yo. I'm gonna throw it at the the guy that's hiding in the pumpkin. Oh dear. I didn't even know he could do that. I didn't even know he could do that too. Give me your pumpkin head. Take that. Wow, you were a very easy boss. You got a heart container. Yay! 
Sora is a horny hedgy. Trixie is a looty tanuki. I am not. I am not a looty tanuki. That was made up by Sora. Okay. <laughs> And Sora may claim that that is true because of a vote. That is not true. Sora actually went and got all their followers to say that I am lewd. And that is very, very wrong. Very wrong indeed. And now you know. <laughs> I ran a scientific poll. You did not. You did not, Sora. <laughs> you took advantage of it. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't too hard of a little dungeon. Ah, I say that because of you, sorry, and Danny just chatting stream. Did did you not see me squirm <laughs> in that stream? <laughs> Didn't you say something about Link's wooden sword earlier in the stream? Hush, nobody knows about that. <laughs> that was uh, that was me, not Trixie. Uh, I recognize this girl. I haven't seen her in a bit. Ow, ow, ow! Watch where you're going. You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Syrup's apprentice. Thanks to you, all the stuff fell out of my bag. The Great Witch will be mad, and I have to get that picture book. Who could have that picture book? Well, it's all made me mad, so I'm going to take your stuff, too. Nope, 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 mine. I'm going to take it all from you. <laughs> now you're sorry. I have more stuff than before. See ya. I don't want to give up my ring. Hey there, buddy. Someone finally came. This headstone blocks my path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, right? I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Alright. You must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thank you. Aww, you're welcome. You came out. Since I'm moving on, I don't need this anymore. Take it. I hope you can reach the afterworld soon, too. You got the Poe Clock. It lightens the heart. <laughs> I know where we can take this. Yeah, it was a very chaotic stream. I agree, Dooney. Highly, highly agree with that. I had a stream with Sora and Dooney, and I took Dooney in my stream for a just chatting stream, and uh, Sora joined it, and everything went uh, chaotically. <laughs> Sora's a horny hedgy. Hedgy. Still had fun with it? I had fun with it, too. I enjoyed you both got along very well. <laughs> A lot of lesbians. <laughs> I'm in lesbians with you. I mean, love with you. <laughs> That's one of my oh, favorite Scott lines Pilgrim. in Scott Pilgrim, yeah. Uh, Scott Pilgrim references. I, I think I like the, the comics a little bit more in Scott Pilgrim than I do the movie. The movie is adorable, but I personally like the comics because it shows Scott growing up as a person, you know? Yeah. Because Scott was a... I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Scott was a kind of a jerk uh, in the beginning. Scott wasn't, Scott wasn't the greatest person. No, in he was Scott not. Series. I mean, I remember seeing... Like the person he wanted to be was Ramona, and he knew he couldn't become Ramona. And then even Ramona has her flaws. She ran. She runs away from her problems. She doesn't really fixes them or anything like that. Yeah. So every character had its own flaw, which I really liked in that story. It's like no one was squeaky clean or perfect. But at the end of the day, did they actually try to become better? Yeah. 
And that's what makes a good character development. So, the movie is good. The comic has more character development. I agree. I agree, Dooney. Very, very much so. Um, I liked Knives in both the movie and the comic. In the comic, she becomes a little bit more adult. Which is, I'm like, how did she become more adult than Scott did in the end, you know? <laughs> that, that, I was expecting because her to be a little... Of hair. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for the anime series coming up. They're getting an animated series? I didn't know that. First I've heard of it. Yeah, that's the first I've ever heard of it, too. I'm playing the mayor here in Lena City. Lena has a long history reaching back hundreds of years. Back then it was Lena Village, not a city. Okay. Um, I can't get over there quite yet. Anything with Sora becomes more chaotic. Yeah. But I like Sora. Sora's good. Scott Pilgrim, the animated series, is an upcoming animated TV series by Universal Content Productions to be released on Netflix. While not much is known about the TV series, it's expected to follow the graphic novel series. Nice! I can't wait for that. Alright, this is the farmer's place, yeah. So we can't really go in there quite yet, to be fair. I'm pretty chaotic myself. Hey, what would the world be without a little bit of chaos, you know? As uh, one Aladdin TV series character named Chaos used to be, uh, used to say. <laughs> hey, I have so much depth and charisma, charm, comedic timing, and, and things. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely got many things, Sora. Hmm. <sighs> I'm trying to twitch my eyebrows and it's not working because I'm smiling too much. <laughs> okay, you're, 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 too, you're too much of a sweet bean to, to be up, actually upset at somebody. Right. I've actually been wanting to put something in the works, but I can't really do it quite right now. So I'm trying to find... Uh, trying to find a place that I can actually, because I'm not really employed right now, I'm still looking for employment. Um, I'm trying to find a place to work so I can actually go through with another plan of mine that I discussed with you a little bit ago, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually want to make sure I get that to fruition. I have a little bit saved up from the support everybody's given me, but it just needs a little bit more, so hopefully I have something in the works soon. I'm so hungry. My stomach hurts. I'm hungry. I just thought you could help. I'm hungry. Well, if you're hungry, we need to get you some food, silly. Oh, I jumped right into that. Okay, so I think I gotta go to the past at some point. Let me see. Yeah, I showed Dooney. Dooney is, uh, knows what's going on. Oh, heck. I don't want to reveal it too much because it's it's something exciting. <laughs> I agree, Crystal. She is definitely a cutie. Alright. I don't know. Okay. I need a rock feather. Oh, let's go up here. Sudden compliment. <laughs> yes. This is our playground. Won't you play hide and seek? If you can't find the three of us, you can't go on. We'll hide, so try to find us. Okay. One's in a rock. One is in a bush. I Okay, the other one is in a bush, too. Ready or not, come find us. I'll find you all right. Just give me some time. There you are. Dang, but there's still two more. I'll find you all, not to worry. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of like the Lost Woods a little bit. 
let's see. Give me that final piece of heart. There's the other one. Again, the, the perks of having again the perks of having a dungeon freaking memorized. Let's play hide and seek. Hides in places you can't possibly access. <laughs> I think it's gonna be this way. Nope, not this way. Down, up, down, up, down, left, right, left. Nope, okay, let's go this way. Right, left, right, left. Nope, not here. So they said this one's the hardest, so I'm just gonna see. Yeah, it just takes me straight back here. Okay, so I have an idea. We're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go down and up. And then down again. And to the left. To the... No, I don't quit. No, I'm not quitting. Um, let's go this way. But up, down. Okay, I think we found it. I don't okay, think we found so it. Okay, I know where I'm going. I'm right above the, the final chest. Nope, not here. Down. Let's go right. Up. Nope, not here. Up. Let's go right. Hmm. What is Natsuki playing? They're playing the Minish Cap right now. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay, I'm a little stumped. Let me see. So if that one's here... Maybe I need to go down. Okay, where's the other one? <laughs> Wasn't one of them in the lake area? Um, I did get the one over there. The other one is hiding behind like a rock. Let's see. Yeah, the other one's hiding behind a rock. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the right from here. Oh, nope, not here. Hmm. Not seeing anything. Yeah, there's one hidden behind a rock, and I have to find it. Can I go down? Can I go to the right? No, I don't quit. Uh, what if I went back up? Nope. And go down, and it just takes me straight here. That takes me straight here. What if I went to the left? And then I went down. It just takes me straight back. Huh. So let's go down. Or up. And then down. Up. <gasps> I found it! Whoop whoop! What? You found us all? You're good, mister. Aw, you found us all. Okay, we won't tease you anymore. We'll float the forest back in order. <laughs> that was fun. Let's play again sometime. I don't even need to look for a, ch for a cheat or a hint. God, I was just like, let me see. Hang on. <laughs> so I got quiet. Oh, that's fine. You're perfectly fine to stay quiet if you want. That's okay. Everybody in the server wants to make sure you have a warm welcome. Let's play again. It's a, ple it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah. <laughs> have a fun time. Alright, there we got this area. Nothing here. Let me 
got that area, this area. I think we can finally go this way. Ooh. Let's go back up. That's where we're supposed to go, is in that area. Okay. Ancient cave, beware, crumbles easily. What? <laughs> Trixie, are you all right? Now you can't get inside. The rock you blasted was a support stone that could have held up the cave. Too bad Nairu can't give us some advice. Maybe there's something in Nairu's house that can help. Why don't you go look? All right, I'll go take a look. Let's see, we're gonna go this way. So, Nairu's house is not too far away, from what I understand. Her house, I want to say, is where Impa is. So, we'll go there. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that I just did a no-hit run of the first dungeon? <laughs> awesome job. Thank you. I've played through that freaking dungeon so many times. Isn't it nice that the game is on the Switch? It is. I honestly... Minish Cap is... I am an admin follow, follower of the Zelda lore. So real so learning that Minish Cap was a prequel to a lot of the games is quite is quite amazing. Here we are. I am Nairu, Oracle of Ages. You are holding an instrument called the Harp of Ages. I do not know you, but it is not by mere chance that you could not hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of time your arrival means i am not in this age any longer i hid the harp here knowing this could happen i entrust the harp to you by playing certain tunes in the harp of ages you can travel through time let me teach you the tune of echoes why does that kind of sound like a sonic tune if you play that tune, you'll unlock the powers of time portals across this land. Step into the time portal and travel through the time to another age. As you journey, you may learn more tunes that will let you travel through time more freely when you play them. Please, chosen hero, protect this land from the clutches of evil. I am counting on you. Unlock unknown hero. It's NSO, right? the echo tune. It will awaken sleeping portals. Alright. You got yourself an ocarina and a plan to how to learn it over time. Yeah, ocarinas have actually been around for hundreds of years. Uh, from what I understand, someone I was trying to learn from said you need to understand how the owls speak and uh, you'll understand how to tune that thing. But I think he was... Uh, I think he was kind of had a few screws loose. <laughs> Muddier than a fruit bat. Yeah. He actually taught me how to how nature works and whatnot. I'm like, okay, I think you got this a little bit too close to your head, sir. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Yeah, and. Uh, there was also another thing where my friend was like, they tried.